But okay, so I don't have to complain about. It. So I'm actually glad I didn't unmute myself because I was just complaining about work anyway. Data pad. Maybe this is what it was trying to send me to. Detailed drawing of a manta. New entry for the first time in, I guess, 600 years. I feel like I can breathe. Sure, the air smells like shit, but I've got a roof over my head and food in my gut. No more running, no more Armageddon planet after Armageddon planet. I can finally just explore. That was the whole point, right? I'm going to start figuring out the mitigation migration patterns of those manta creatures. Maybe Ligger. Who knows? This is her home planet after all. Great. That feels like more of a story that I missed. And anyway, that's what happens when I just want to rant. And so I got karma back at me for ranting. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. It's well deserved. Other than I still don't know what the heck this thing is trying to tell me. I know about the cameras. I know about the cameras. What are you wanting me to look at? There is nothing here. There is nothing here. I Maybe someday I'll figure out what it wants me to scan there. Maybe someday. Yeah, I know. I already did that. Is it you? I don't know. You okay? None of your business, Inard. Nod? I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. That's all your kind does. Pry. Thanks. Living under Sloan, I can see why you'd think that. But we're not all the same. You do look different from the others. Cleaner. So what's troubling you? Don't like that that's the My priority here. My sister Morga works the pipes. Makes sure the port has filtered water. But she's been missing for three days. <sighs> Sisters be Morga's job? Is Morga's line of work dangerous? It can be. Kadara's <sighs> water is highly acidic. Fixing a leaky pipe could result in major burns. But that's just burns. But no one knows Kadara's filtration system like Morga. Oh. Is it unlike your sister not to check in? Extremely. We're all the <coughs> of our family. And from Jal, it is big family. invaded Kadara. I'll look for her. I'll keep an eye out for your sister. Thank you. Thank Pathfinder, you. we could use the grates to scan the pipes at a safe distance. Is that what it's been bitching about this entire time? Is scanning the vents? I don't know. And what vents? I know exactly what this game wants. Can't find the scan thing. Don't know what the vent's for. We're at. Great time. Any vents in here that I don't know about? Probably not. Oh, am I allowed to go in there again? <laughs> no. Anything new at the terminal? Nope. Okay. Wait, were you the one that I had to talk to? No. You are not. No funny business. Shut up. It's I you. Have You've handled your fair share of cat. <laughs> Hard to get far in Andromeda without running into them. Exactly. Yes, Anne. When Sloan took over, she slaughtered <coughs> the cat who were here. There were mass executions, public. So people would know that Kadara was cat free. But there have been rumors of stragglers in the Badlands. If the tales are true, they need to go. Well, have you heard any cat related? What exactly are the rumors stuff? about the cat? Ambushes. People disappearing. Vehicles sabotaged. Pick clean for parts. Could be feral local wildlife, sinkholes, and gara bullshit. But there's enough people saying cat. All right. Well, why can't you send your if own people? If there are cat out there, send your own crew to deal with them. Listen, this is how it is. 
Everyone knows Sloan destroyed the cat presence here. Anything that hints otherwise? Weakness. Oh my god, I do not give a shit you, about Sloan, though. You're independent. Where you go, what you do. Nothing to do with Sloan. So what? You said Sloan killed the cat here. What happened? The cat had the port locked down when we arrived. They were shipping Angara off for who knows what. Oh, I know. People were scared. But the place had potential. So we fought the cat for it. And we won. You saw the decorations outside. That's Sloan making sure everyone knows she's the new power. Yeah. I'll think about checking out the Badlands. Excellent. Uh huh. Uh huh. She should be lucky there's a Turian talking to me. She should be lucky about that. Or maybe watch that be the thing to talk to him the entire time. Are you kidding me? If it goes off again. Alright, so I guess it was just for him. So I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good to leave. There was a fast travel point, but I already passed it. That's not a fast travel point. And this is right next to my ship anyway, so. It is what it is. Let's leave. I've talked to you, right, Cora? Pretty sure. Join to the Tempest. Let's go. It's time to leave. <coughs> Again, at least a little bit of me bitching about to work and stuff was muted. <laughs> it is what it is. As dumb as it is. At least I was able to check to make sure that I didn't need to talk to him again. Because for all I know, he might even be dead by now. Sloan did really want to get rid of him as quickly as possible. Hey, look! What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing oh. news while we were on Kadara. Oh! There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Okay. Nakmore Morta made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. But let's just listen. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating. But we, we have need to, help to hear everybody. each other out. Well, that as is long how as we defeat stuff, the big bad. I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Elodin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. Perfect. Because if there's one thing I do know about, it's fighting pirates. But now that we have the transponder, we're so close to finding the location of Archon's ship. Uh oh. I think Meridian is Archon. Yes, Meridian is the name of the Archon ship. Oh my god. Let's stay open-minded. Our goal is to create our home here. You never know how something might fit in. Anyway, get Kala the nav points for both Elodin and that potential Turian golden world. We want all our options ready to go. Yeah, hey, exactly. I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. Meeting adjourned as you were. <sighs> really, Ryder? Really, Ryder? Okay. So I'm glad that I said that. Because yes, I know defeating the Archon is a really big thing. But it also doesn't hurt to do these other things, you know, to help out your crew. Because in past uh, good old Mass Effect, it's always been very important that you have a loyal crew. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Anyway, do I have any map stuff to look at here?
Uh, yes. Check my email. I have a lot of emails to check, actually. Very much. So, what is this? Check my email. Okay. okay. Check my email first, then. <sighs> In the armory. And Vetra's calling me. That's very important. Th thank you, Sam. That's you why I'm going there. At your terminal, That's why I'm going there. Oh, wait. The Asari Ark from Korra. Ryder, had a breakthrough on the location of the Asari Ark. Please come talk to me on the Tempest ASAP. Hell yeah. Sid from Vetra. Ryder, an encrypted message came from Sid. Says she wants to talk to us. Sounds urgent. Going to need you for this one, so swing by when you can. Mmm, doing it. That's it. That's the email that I've been waiting for for Vetra's loyalty. Uh, meeting with Aksul from Moshai. Pathfinder, Jal expressed that you wish to meet with Aksul. It has been a long time since he and I spoke. He was so changed by the cat. It was difficult to talk to him, but perhaps enough time has passed and together we can reason with him. I've arranged a meeting at my laboratory on Aya. Please come at your earliest convenience. Okay, got a lead on Ark Natanis. Hell yeah! From Abatis Rix. Right, I'm hearing rumors that scavengers found pieces of an Ark on a planet called Eladin. Might be nothing but worth checking out. Holy crap, I've missed so many emails. Aya Diplomatic Efforts from Director 8. When we left our old home, we never planned on having to negotiate with an alien civilization for a new one. It's vital we placate the Angara and keep them on our side. They've opened an embassy on Aya, and our diplomatic team is already settling in. I'm counting on you to ensure our success. You've established ties with the resistance leader, the Moshai, and Aya's governor. Do all you can to learn everything about them and their supporters. The better we understand Aya's political structure, the more successful we'll be gaining their help colonizing Helios. Director Tan. 8. Ugh. In your debt from Sellers. I wanted to send my appreciation for clear clearing my friend Sanjeev's name. I hate to imagine the ordeal he was subjected to by the exiles who took him, but it does my heart good to know that he will be remembered as a faithful member of this incredible incredible endeavor and not a traitor. Perhaps now I can finally put the Nexus revolts behind me and start looking to the future. Yours, Sellers. Who is this? I don't remember helping you, but I'm glad I helped you. Error 982 carrier signal interrupted. Invitation from unknown sender. Writer, I must be brief, but I hear my virus was a success and Sam is disconnected. Excellent news. We should talk in person. I have enclosed the nap point for our sanctuary on Kadara. The virus was only a first step. You could be a strong ally in future efforts. Night. Uh-huh. Please see me from Captain Dunn. Writer, please see me on the Hyperion deck to discuss a sensitive matter. Something suspicious from Sidar Sidera Nix. Dear Pathfinder, this is Sidera, Vetra's sister, but everyone calls me Sid. I know this isn't following protocol because who am I to contact Pathfinder through their personal console, right? But I know Vetra will tell me I'm overreacting, and I swear I wouldn't do this unless I thought it was something serious. There's just stuff going on here that doesn't really add up and people are getting hurt. It's hard to explain. Can we talk in person? I'm in operations. Thanks, Sid. Another interview from Carrie. Hello, writer. They're saying you just got back from Kadara Port. There isn't much official word from there or the exiles. Can you give me a few on-camera details? About Kadara from Vetra. Hey, writer. One of my friends from Kadara sent a list of tips for surviving there. It's mostly common sense, but there are some gems. <laughs> oh, what kind of gems are you talking about, Vetra? No one knows who the charlat charlatan is. Asking is dangerous. Be really careful dealing with Sloan and anyone who works for her. Politics on Kadara are less about who's got the biggest stick and more about who's willing to use the sticks they have in creative ways. There's a hole in the wall place in the slums that makes the best cup of Quillo? Qu Quilloa? Do not mix Quilloa with other stimulants no matter what anyone says. Humans only. Oh boy. Don't ask Umi the bartender to surprise you. That makes me want to do it. Invitation, diplomatic meeting from the Nexus Cultural Exchange to Pathfinder Writer. We are currently in hosting the first Angaran ambassador to the Nexus, Isa Denavar. Despite the importance of your duties, we hope your next return to the station will coincide with his visit. A cordial meeting between the Pathfinder to first reach Aya and the Angaran ambassador could set the tone for our relations in the future. Respectfully yours, Lana Tesafra, Chief of Staff. Okay, 
I get it. Patriot credits from Drac. Last time I was on Katara, I met the Sasari at Kralas, who said she'd let me in on a little score. Mellow, please. That should have been played when I realized I was still on mute early on in the stream. But thank you. <laughs> Apparently, welcome to the stream. Hopefully your nap went well. I see you've ordered some Chinese. Hopefully that's good. Apparently there's this matriarch who came over on the Nexus. Only she died in stasis. My contact says she's next in line for the old lady's credits. A lot of credits. And get this. She says she'll split them with me. Trouble is, there's red tape. Transfer fees. And she's having trouble mustering up the credits to clear them. Asked me if I could cover the transfer costs. I tried to bring Betra in on this, but she says it's a scam. I'm not so sure. Seems like a pretty good opportunity to me. Drac. Drac! That took me a second, but no, Drac, that's a scam! Drac, no! Uh, Mello, Bug puked again, so I'm cleaning up and getting him settled. Fuck Leo. <laughs> He's allergic to everything. He can't live. Re-matriarch credits from Drac. It was a scam. Do me a favor and don't tell Vetra, okay? Drac, no. Drac, no, no. I'm more worried about Drac than Bug. Suvi's movie night snacks from Vetra. Ryder, whatever Suvi's cooking up in the galley smells terrible. She says it's for a movie night. Good cause, bad choice of snacks. I can do better. Come see me and I'll show you. <laughs> you be nice to that old man? No! That old man should have listened to Vetra, damn it. Uh, this sounds bad, kid, from Drac. Thought I'd show you what Strux sent me. A transcript of an audio log that's got me worried about the colony. Sounds like Morda's cooking up something, but don't don't know what to think. Morda, stop arguing with me, Brink. It's payback time for the initiative. They don't care about us, but they will. Soon, they're going to know that I'm overlord, and once I execute my plan, there'll be no denying that the Krogan rule Helios. Then they'll come begging to us. Okay, Morda, I'll get a team together, gather everything we need. No, Krogan bows down to the Nexus again. Great. You know, shut the fuck up, Mello. I miss Morden too, but you don't need to bring it up. Yes, Mello. I'll show you right now who's my selected love interest. Because I gotta talk to them anyway. <coughs> I'll show you. It's gonna take a second to get down there. Shut up! What is this for? What is... Am I looking at the snack she made? Crumbs. Mm, crumbs on the deck. You found them too? I think something's eating our stores. Oh. I don't... I don't want to do that. I gotta go somewhere else first. Uh, you saw the notification and was like, ooh. You're surprised you didn't pick Jal. He has the steamy NSFW fun. Oh my god, yes, I love this part. I'll get to this part eventually. I think I went the wrong way. Shit. I, I think I went the wrong way. Where? Did I? No, I was heading the right way. I'm not crazy. I was heading the right way. He takes you to a waterfall. See, I gotta do Joel. I gotta do Joel next. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. This is who I've decided on. Finally, I've been waiting for hours. It takes me a long time to read emails. I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. Well, that's not good. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. I know, Vetra's so, so cool. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave okay. on a moon in the Ramav system. Of course Originally the Ramav system. Line, that's why we think, can do her thing it. earlier. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. Uh, I trust her. I trust your sister, and there's no sense in wasting time. See? That's a pathfinder. Okay, don't. Sid, just give us everything you have on this. Don't. Already done. You were torn between her, Jaw, and Liam, so everyone. Help. Yeah? You know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. 
Definitely Krogan beer. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Um, anyway, so I was very close to picking Jal. Jal did get me flustered when he came in with the email dearest. That thing got me pretty good. So yes, he was very close. And I feel bad about the idea of not uh, doing him. I really do, but I have to pick somebody if I actually want to move on with the story at some point. So, Suvi, gotta love her, but those green snack things she's making for Liam's movie night? Yeah, not Let's great. Let's just say they're probably better suited to throwing at the screen. You've got a better idea? Yeah, actually. Cora lent me an initiative access code so I could track down some contraband. Long story short, someone on Kadara Port has popcorn. Popcorn! And Grexen, which is like your popcorn, only better because I can eat it. Popcorn! Pop How is popcorn contraband? Someone smuggled popcorn across galaxies. It's light and people would pay big credits for it. Why not? Fair enough. I could track some down the next time we're there. How is Thanks. It it would be nice to have a treat out here, you know? How is it contraband? Um, yes, he's very much Garrus in this one, where he's a dork, but then he gets romantic, and it's like, yeah! Yeah, I know. I, I, I have to turn him down, and I feel so bad for... This is my problem. I kind of flirted with everybody that I had the chance to flirt with, and now that it's coming to the decision part, or having to actually pick, or them wanting to continue, I want to continue with everybody and not pick one, and I feel bad because I've already started flirting with them, and I hate it. <laughs> you got an ad, so if you re reacted to my nonsense, you didn't get it. Oh. I don't know which nonsense. But yeah. Most, most, I think mostly I was listening to Betra talking about the popcorn. I think that's what was going on, Mellows, that I was talking about the popcorn. And so there's a lot going on with Betra right now. Kadara is a lifesaver. I'd promised some people some things I wasn't sure I could get. Turns out I can get them all on Kadara. Funny how things work out. We all gotta survive somehow. I'm just relieved that they didn't die out there without Nexus support. Throwing people off the boat was hard, but Nexus leadership was desperate. Wasn't a great choice. Lose some people. Or lose everything. Yeah, that's how it goes. You probably have work to do. Got the tail end of you talking about romance. You know okay. Where to find me. <coughs> um, I really enjoyed. Um, I hate the fact that I had really fallen or flirted with a lot of with everybody that I possibly could, and. Each little step that it gave me to get closer, if I took it, it made me love them and made me like the interactions even more. Uh, but it also came to realize that I have to stop it or I'm going to screw up a relationship that I might actually want more. So I got to stop flirting with everything because then it makes harder choices and much harder to turn them down. Because now I have to basically turn Jaw down and I'm like, fuck, I don't want to do that. <laughs> A space harem? That's what you think this game should have been. After all the other games where you had to, like, pick one person. You think that they would have finally given you a space harem. Nope. That's a solid no. Liam's not here. Cora's here, though. Are you seriously... Oh, wait. More crumbs, huh? Something's okay. nesting here. Something that likes cereal. I wonder. We've probably got materials to build a humane trap and catch it. Okay. I gotta build a humane trap now. Still can't believe you didn't get. We got it, Ryder. You I kept up the bringing them recorder, on my missions. I kept talking to them, a and yet they didn't hook up. We have the Asari arcs last. They didn't hook up. Now points are set. We can head there whenever you're ready. Are you ready for this? Remember the survey ship. This might not be pretty. Are you? Handling tough stuff is my job. We need the Asari and Sarissa more than ever. Did Dorian leave at the end of your playthrough? Yes. Dorian did leave. I don't know what I did wrong. 
I don't know. Lexi, do you have anything new? Anything. Everything all right? Oh, yes. PB and I were just having a debate. Isn't that progress? Better than her avoiding you, right? If you get him to stay, they get right together. Up. Do oh. you think I'm uptight? I... No, never mind. Don't answer that. Let's just talk about something else. Are you sure? New memory fragment? I ran across another memory fragment. I can talk Dad to her about that? Sam for mom to cure her. I, I didn't realize I it, could do that. You didn't know it was the driving force. He really loved her. He gave up everything trying to save her. You didn't realize how important his family was to him? No. I guess not. Maybe that's what he wanted you to see. I didn't know I could talk to her I about my memory dad's memories. Fragments. I was in this one. Scott, too. We were home visiting. Dad told us about going through the Charon Relay. So you got your sense of exploration from your father? Aha! Uh -huh. I'm my own person. Yeah, I did. Oof. Uh, can't wait for you to get further into this. Just remember it's something big, so you'll be excited. Oh, great. And I, st I guess maybe it's because... Maybe it's because I think when there was talk about him going back home... Dorian. I'm talking about Dorian now. I think when there was conversation about him going back home, I think I was all for him wanting to fix things back home. And that's probably what did it in. He was confident. He was wanting to do that. So that's probably what screwed me out of it. But I didn't know. Because all I was told was just try to get him talking, get him together. <laughs> I don't know. It was my first time playing. Of course something had to go wrong. Uh, anyway. Uh... Yeah, I did. I'm my own person. I don't know. Because again, it's really hard to tell when I don't know much about Alec besides the fact that he wasn't around a lot. I'll say yeah, I did. We joked it was in our DNA. Then that part of him lives on. Okay. I'll let you get back to it. If you I'll talk to him about staying, me. he talks about how he has a big reason for staying. Big reason for staying. Okay, so it's probably just because I didn't choose the right options, which, whatever. <coughs> oh, that's what this does? Okay, I don't care about that. I don't care. Oh god, I hear Jaw. As if any of your meals passed the bucket test. Picture your favorite food. Now picture it in a bucket beside a bar. Would you still eat it? Jaw, thank you for talking so low that I can't hear you. But Liam, good job. Ruin of everything. All, the oldest new world. I like it. So talkative. I'm not gonna like walking in on Joel. Okay, I have to make the trap. I haven't talked to Sam in a while. Pathfinder, I've you love him. I love him too. From the security vid of Spender. What did you find? Updating your system with an app point. Hey, nice. Hello, Ryder. Kadara Port has raised questions for the future. Like? What questions? If we succeed in Andromeda, more AI will be created. We are all individuals. Some may commit illegal acts. Yeah, that but happens. But AI are also citizens, there must be laws and penalties for us, too. I wonder what form they will take. I don't know. Let's see how your humor is coming. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why is it so hard to find a good steak? Why? I don't know, Sam. Because it's a rare medium. Well done. Uh... That one was really rough, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. 
That, that one was really rough. Okay. Moving on to the up. So I can talk to everybody else that I haven't talked to yet. <sighs> this is gonna suck talking to Jaw. Hey, Jaw. Hi, Jaw. <gasps> Didn't mean to scare you. Y you good? Uh, I'm. I'm not scared. Uh, one second. What's going on in here? You look busy. If I'm busy, my mind is occupied with whatever I'm working on, uh, rather than worrying. Okay. <laughs> Not really understood. Whatever works. Whatever gets you through. Shut the uh, fuck I'd up, like Nello. Your You're not gonna help me. Something. It's I'm gonna make it harder. For everyone. It's gonna make I it harder to tell him no. Yes. Hmm. Do Turians like poetry? Uh, for Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I don't even really know what Vetra likes. Kip. Kip him. <laughs> uh, take the risk? Who doesn't like a personalized poem? Ah, great. <laughs> Maybe I could just recite it for her. Make sure I'm there for that. Uh, Liam seems to like my Rothgin. I might sew him one. Ooh, he that does. would be cool. Do Krogan like now? <coughs> oh, I bet he does. I could craft a ceremonial Angaran dagger for Drac. On it. Please don't. Drac would love that. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Would you like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? Yeah. I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you. Mm -hmm. But I'm not. Or I don't feel like I am. <laughs> Why do I have to pick only one? Why is it only one? I hate this. I hate this! He's an idiot! Why do I love idiots? Damn it! <laughs> Why are you running? I could just close out the game and pretend like I don't have to do this. Good. I don't have to. <laughs> Damn it. I can always play the game again. I can. I can. See, now you understand. Uh, it was actually a lot easier to turn down Liam, Liam's kiss, than it was, than it is right now to turn down Jaw. So far from what you've seen, the romance is the most flash flushed out. Uh. Uh, I just want to make a decision. Uh. I can always play it again. I can always play it again. And when I play it again, I won't flirt with everything. So it makes this easier. Peer pressure for Vetra. <laughs> Turian in two and three. I gotta change it up. Well, I think you're great. <laughs> That's yeah, play again so for Vetra. I'll play again it's for true. Vetra. <clears throat> you're making me blush. I already fucked I a Turian tell. on stream. I'll fuck it on guard. My family is well known. 
Our lineage is respected, <coughs> and many of my kin have achieved great things. I've never been one of them. So many you don't older have to siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to keep up. Right. Thanks for listening. You're gonna do great things. You're not in anyone's shadow here. That's I what you were thinking you. too. You, that you picked Turian and was his ride or die. You gotta branch out. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll still obviously do Vetra's loyalty mission because I want to make sure that I get all my crew on my side. But I'll stop flirting with Vetra. It's a good point. I have a very big soft spot for Turians. But that's mainly just because of Garrus. I don't care about your waterfall right now, Mello. <laughs> um, yeah. That snipe that sniper that sniping date, the best. We'll see how Jaw lives up to it. <laughs> Taxul is very cunning. We can't underestimate him. Yeah. Uh, my mothers are worried sick about the cousins that joined him. I hate forgetting how big your family is. Uh, personal. Do you have a mate? A partner? Okay, not where I thought that was going. Not for a long He's time. He's very sweet. <laughs> okay, well, do you have a past relationship? Not for a long time. <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Aaliyah. We were young. Aaliyah. <laughs> I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. A researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me mm. and I was hers. Thrilled and seduced. I have a bad feeling about By this. By one kiss. My older brother. Calm the hell down, Aya. Nightbot. He was already famous in the resistance. Oh. Ah. I hope this option doesn't go away just because I want to continue on the trend of Aaliyah. But even though I already kind of figured it out that uh, she ended up uh, getting with her his brother. You better still be there. I hate it. I'm pretty sure it'll still be there. Where is Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval, and she joined our family. She became one of the mothers. No. You have to see her every day? No. No. They were taken by the kit. Oh. Their children survived. That kept getting worse! That kept getting worse. Cool. I'm glad. I figured that it would be. The question marks are the things that you can continue going until they're done. I'm pretty sure if I backed out, it wouldn't be available I anymore. I think you're interesting and, well, great. Anyway, I'd like to get to know you better. Okay, listen. What do you think? Yes, I'd like that. Listen. That's it? One email? You are a lovely One woman. One email writer. Fascinating. Is all it took risk to start being flustered like that? Knowing you better would be a gift. Sincerely. I mean, it did the same thing to me. Okay, but... then. One, one email. <laughs> well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay calm <coughs> okay. and clear. Reporting for duty commander. <laughs> Hello, Gen Phage. Welcome back to the sh welcome to the stream. Hopefully your day is going well. Um. Oh yeah, I'm still basically going around and making sure that I've talked to everybody. The Rokar go to Kadara and recruit the desperate. More to I've talk. I've heard a Rokar recruiter weaving his magic. Even I was convinced. Oh. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay Thank strong and clear. Thank you. I'm not very clear. When it comes to the romance options in this game, I need to make that trap. Okay. I think I'm 
overqualified to make this trap. I have 799 aluminum. I think I'm overqualified. I mean, I know they had to make it easy to make sure you actually had those resources, but damn. And I'm still getting stuff anyway. All the time. Cora was downstairs, so I don't think anybody would be in here. Nope. I never found Gil. Hold up. I think Gil's the only one that I haven't talked to besides Subi and Kalo. Oh, no, Drac. I haven't talked to Drac. Or PB. Ugh. The list just grows. <coughs> Rider. I guess, do you have another war Got story? Any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Okay, more combat advice. Tell me more about fighting Ket. Shoot stuff and don't die. Always works Has for Drac me. Has Drac told you his tragic backstory? I don't think so. We can talk more later. I don't think he has yet. Sure. But I also haven't been able to do his loyalty mission yet because I needed to unlock Kadara in order to continue it. Gil, do not talk about Gil, being that cat pregnant. The spy used it to get his or orders. anything like that. I can't handle it. What do it we anymore. need from it? The location it points to should give us a fix on the Son Archon of a ship. bitch! I forgot he's the one that's going to do the Archon. <sighs> right. No pressure. It's not like there's much writing on this. Just our best chance to find Meridian. Pressure. I like that. Luckily, no matter where you go in the universe, physics still applies. Only so many ways of communicating across space. There. Give it a shot. Did you connect the... <laughs> Shit, turn it off. Careful. That is a direct line to people who want to murder everyone on this ship. Okay. Sam? I have the coordinates. The signal points to the Tafino system. Great, another sure new system. sure we want to do this? Uh... I just wanted to talk to you, Gil, normally. Not move on with the Archon shit. I swear to God. This better not move me on with that. Because I know I he gave me the name of the system. I get that. But I want to make sure that that's not going to push me into it. Fucking game. It's killing me. Oh, uh, yeah, I did that. Too much. Oh. Okay, so I think as long as I don't I know go to the Tafino system, wet, but I don't see another choice. I'm good. I knew running off to Andromeda would be dangerous, but shit. This is dangerous. <coughs> they shouldn't make it seem like it's going to force me Only into if we it. die. Thank you. I just wanted to talk to Gil. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? And he has nothing new anyway. Anytime. Which is fine, because I don't need him talking to me about Jill anymore and her reason for being here with the initiative. I don't need to hear that anymore. Alright, so as long as I avoid the Tofino system until I get the loyalty missions that I have currently available, I'll be good. Uh, I need to do that too. A uh, new project from PB. Hey yeah, I've got a new remnant project in the works. It's gonna be big. Come say hi in my room on the Tempest, will ya? 
Uh, non-work-related email from Joel. Writer. I told Liam and PB and Lexi a children's story that the mothers used to tell us when we were small. It's from our oral history of the time before the scourge. The crew said I should write it down so that it can be added to the cultural center on the Nexus. The way we're child. Long ago, there was a child who was very stubborn and wouldn't listen to any wisdom. Not from her father, not her many mothers. One day seeking adventure, she snuck aboard a spaceship with an unknown destination. The child was brave to seek adventure, however, she ended up getting space with a load of garbage. Deservedly, she froze in the cold vacuum of space and died. The, the end. I don't know why the crew enjoyed it. It's a terrible story meant to scare youngsters into obedience. Is this a novelty to your people? If so, how do you humans keep children from hurting themselves? Jell, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. Okay. I unlock more to do with PB. Quite well, that's that's helpful. Is this my assault rifle spot? No, that's my pistol spot. I don't have any more new pistols, so we're gonna... same thing basically. Yeah, it's great. Yes, that is my assault rifle roll. That's not better than the one that I have. Uh. Oh wait, maybe that is better. Hold up. 103475. Yeah, actually that one's the better one. That one is the better one. I like damage. Ew. Uh, I might actually change that. I like damage, but this one actually does more damage. That one does more damage. You forgot to make bug oatmeal? Who cares? We too traumatize them into behaving. We do! <coughs> oh, but Jal doesn't need to know that. Jal doesn't need to know that. Oh yeah, I made a vanquisher. Eh. Huh. Oh, that's the same thing. I did forget to look at my mods for my pistol. We like melee. Uh, let's go with accuracy. Other than that, I really don't have a whole lot of new stuff. What do I have right now? Weapon headshot and spare ammo. Uh, I never know what's better. I, I like that one. I never know what's better. What do I currently have on? The... <coughs> Damage and weapon accuracy and all that jazz. I like that. Because it does kind of everything that that other one did. Just slightly better, I think. No. That had weapon accuracy and damage resistance. Eh, fuck it. Who cares? Who cares?
just out my outfit myself and all the tech cat stuff. All right. Everything else can be sold then. Okay, PB coming. I still haven't even used this in combat. I don't remember how to use it. Hey there. You named her Pock? Yep. Proof of concept. To distinguish her from Zap, your souped up, nasty combat version. Mmm. Cool name. Zap. I like it. Yeah, it's edgy. The storage box from the vault on EOS was the key to everything, including integrating that piece of rem tech you got me. Why are your arms but out? our new observer friends are just Why the are you T posing? I'm working on something even bigger. Why are you T posing? Sure, why stop and smell the roses? Getting remnant technology to work is so passe. I'm not one to rest on my laurels. So get this. We can only scan for remnant signatures we've already encountered. My scanner's doing that around the clock. But if I integrate the right rem tech, we could well, what's wrong with your arms? for any remnant signature, even ones we don't have. My scanner would literally become a remnant mystery detector. That's exciting. Your enthusiasm is infectious. Well, don't tell Lexi. She'll look for a cure. I came to Andromeda to touch the unknown. To find the never-before <coughs> Once I perfect this scanner, it'll do exactly that. All I need is three specific pieces of Remtech. We can do that. You rock. Pock and Zap think so, too. So far, I've located the first piece. It's back on EOS. I'll upload the coordinates. Well, at least your arms are fixed. Kadara port's pretty grisly, huh? Probably get into all sorts of trouble there. Yep. And now we're going after the Archon's ship? Sure that's a good idea. That's all we got. In the absence of any other. Yeah, her arms were great. Excellent one. Guess I can't argue with that. Anything else to go over? I'm not flirting with you anymore! So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots... The monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. That's so what you we're think hoping we're doing for. the right thing. Well, yeah. Leave it to Thanks it. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Okay. And now I can talk to you guys. Hey, Subi. How's it going? I am not gonna flirt with you. Uh, Kello. Ryder, might I borrow your research room access? What for? There's a small something I need to take care of. Uh huh. I might need your help if you could. Sure. I'll help if I can. Suvi, could you take the helm for a little while? I mostly need your authorization to add to the database. What are we adding? Is that our drive core? The full blueprint. Only a few are in the system. I had them all by memory. So I drew them out. Every line. All the specs. Gil will be needing them. I won't. <sighs> this still bothers you. You're still not comfortable with Gil being in charge of your Tempest, are you? Call it more memories. Of the time that they were going to scrap the whole project. Oh. Some engineering consultant kept insisting the ship would never fly right. He used a lot of Gil's arguments. I think that's why this hurts. Yep. The others died thinking we won, that their legacy was safe, and I failed them. But you made us care. You showed us the Tempest through your eyes, why she matters. Even Gil sees it now. We forget all our technology didn't just appear. Someone invented it. Someone cared. Yeah. And in the end, someone new always takes up the banner and pushes forward. I am... Um, I need the tech officer's sign-off on these schematics. Any thoughts on how to do this? Uh, just be sincere. A little honesty and humility will go a long way. Gil, may I get a moment of your time? Apparently we're not going to wait for him to answer. Yeah, you're doing great so far. Doing great, Callum. 
I thought we settled this. What's going <coughs> on? I saved the Tempest schematics for you. It'll be easier with them on hand. Seeing her drawn out down to the basics, she's kind of beautiful. Oh, right. You never saw. No. Yeah. Look at the arc here. That's artistry. And then nerds! You're nerds! And they just disappeared in front of me. Okay. Whatever. Worked out in the end. Knew it would. Okay. Oh, I still have to go set the trap. But I'm just checking on Callow again. I you found a stasis again. locker from the Solarian Ark. Yes. Technically, someone else found it first. But yes. How wonderful. I know it's not the Ark itself, but any sign is better than nothing, surely. Please, if I That's can help the search it. at all, just ask. Or ask anyway. You're good company. Thank you. You're... We haven't really added anybody new, but I'll still ask this. What do you think of the rest of the crew? No. Oh. <laughs> if I gossip anymore, I'll get in trouble. Never mind. Any more stories? Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we... God uh, damn it. <laughs> for two days. Poor O'Connell was... Alright. So, they really don't have anything new in those aspects. I gotta go set a trap. I should probably put that as my journal. Maybe when I find it again? Movie night. Procure snack. I'm never gonna have this movie night. I'm never gonna have this movie night. Okay. But at least everybody's excited for the movie night, though. Alright, what likes cereal? One trap ready for a visitor. I'll leave it and see what we get. <sighs> Fine, we'll fly to another system while I wait. The movie night is great. It's a little reminiscent of the Citadel party in ME3. Aww. God, that was such a good DLC. Such a good DLC. Uh, I gotta wait for the trap. In the meantime, though... Let's look at these. On hold. Vetra, that's the Ramav. Search the valet. Investigate the anomaly. I have to advance Jaws thing. Okay. Basically, there's a lot. Well, let's start at the top, shall we? Vetra. I can't flirt with Vetra anymore. I can't flirt with Vetra anymore, because... You're right. I shouldn't, like... Really shouldn't. I should expand desire. myself. There's so many freaking... Hold up. Let's look at that again. This is hard to see because of my freaking face. Hold up. Eh. Eh, where is it? Look at all these missions! Look at them all! That's insane! It's insane. I'll come back to that eventually. Eventually. Where am I going? Over there. There's so many new systems and stuff that were opened up. This, this is gonna take so long. But hey, I think this is like the majority of my loyalty for crew members stuff that I got, so... I think it's just gonna be working on loyal crew members this weekend. Look at these readings. The system is... <coughs> beautiful. I'll say... That's a stellar nursery. Stars are born out here. Sure they are. 
since we're in the new system, let's look at this stuff real quick. At least they've made uh, 100%ing the systems a lot faster. That helps. The ruins of several Angaran exploratory missions dot Phaedra's surface, crash, crushed by the planet's powerful gravity and half buried by its winds. I know how it is to be in a windy area. Not great. I don't even know why I'm tired. I didn't have to work this morning. Picking up something. I had a feeling you would. Nindri's cracked surface contains large deposits of magnesium and cobalt. Constant volcanic activity fuels streams of lava that glimmer from the orbit. From orbit. Mm, there we go. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. Uh, is no stranger to eruptions, but this particular massive explosion may offer special insight into the planet's geology. Hey, no. I was kind of tempted to drink a coffee or something, but ugh. Probably a good idea that I didn't. Anomaly on sensors. You don't say. This barren moon is more scientifically interesting than its planet, Amayona, owing to traces of an element zero detectable from orbits. So I'm going to get element zero. This ancient impact crater contains traces of a radioactive material, element zero, and metals not found naturally on the planet. Okay, so an asteroid crashed on it is pretty much what I'm getting from that. Okay. I'm very sorry for the annoying cough that is going to persist for the next week or two of streams. I can't help that. Shattered by the Scourge, this formerly viable planet is now a debris field. Due to a lack of atmosphere, few life forms are present. Alert, excessive solar and cosmic radiation detected. Confinement to the Nomad advised. Oh boy. And this is where I have to go? Okay. Sounds great. Let's see. Kind of want to take Joel. Even the last time I did a loyalty mission, it was just the actual person person that did most of the talking. I'll still bring Joel. <coughs> Wow. Look at all this. The Scourge did a number here, didn't it? Yeah. To think this was supposed to be the Turian home, now the Exiles have taken over. Cosmic radiation is off the charts, Ryder. You'll need to stay in the Nomad. What good are these fancy suits if they don't block radiation? Yeah, what good are in they? In normal situations, they do. This planet's magnetic field was disrupted when it cracked open. No protection from a cosmic ray tearing you apart at the molecular level. Fun. So, stick to the Nomad. Descent engine engaged. Good luck, Ryder. Yay. I'm actually kind of curious if some of the stuff that they stole or used to work on the Tempest was some of the stuff that they Exaltation built the SR2. Away any sense of self. It ties to community, the past, anything. It simplifies them. Binds them to nothing but the kit. Mm-hmm. Alright, to the mine! 
Gravity's law. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying that, Betra. You kind of cut off Suvi, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. We. Oh wait, am I about to pass up an area to get a point down? No. Activating automated forward station deployment. I'll wait for it to land. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. What the shit, shit? Are you fucking serious? I would have made that. I should have made that. I should have made that, honestly. I really should have made that. I don't know why my jump just died there. Eh, yeah, I'm already falling. I'll just let it happen. Or... Oh. I mean, I love that it righted me up there. Like, that's gonna help me. Okay, there we go. Think I'm saving it now? Yeah, kinda. Good god, my jump just Each died. Exalted we kill. <coughs> but wonder who it was before. That's awful to think about. I see them all as unmarked graves. Yeah, that kinda happens. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Thank you, Sam. You're always annoyingly here. Mm, maybe more this way. I don't think I'm going to be getting much from that area anyway. There we go. That's a little better. I don't even know what material that is or what mineral that is. that I'm going to try to even fix this planet, right? I don't think I should. I think this is one of those that is just going to be marked down for the... shouldn't be fixed. Unless once we get the Meridian running, really helps the trick. I don't know where I'm going. Are you doing okay? After that whole exaltation business? Definitely doing if okay. If it means what I think, how could I be doing okay? Would you be okay ever? No, I guess not. I don't think so. Is this really the only way that I have to go? There's no easier way to go about this? No. Not from what I can tell. Great. Love that. Fine. Suvi Anwar is correct. Cosmic radiation is unusually high on this planet, likely an effect of the Scourge. Let's say I just walked out into it. What would happen? Cosmic rays would penetrate the molecules of your DNA. Terminal cancer is highly likely. Suddenly, I'm thankful for the Nomad. Terminal cancer? Yeah, that's not great. <sighs> so 
So can I get around over here? Where am I able to get around, game? Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. I just want to get around this fucking cavern. I'm trying to find the sweet spot, Jaw. Which I think is over here. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. This might not work. This might be considered out of the map. Yep. Shucker. Right at no! Oh my god, how am I supposed to get over that? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. How I'm supposed to get over there. I could try going over here, I guess. See what that does. But Joel's right or no is really killing me. Uh-huh. Don't know why there's one over here. Is there one? There it is. Gonna yell at me? Nope. Yeah, I think I needed to go this way the entire time. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Uh, nope. I I don't. Have been added I don't to fucking understand. For resources, you can extract minerals via your mining interface. This is one of those really good spots. What is that? A mining dome, Pathfinder. You should be able to exit the Nomad once inside. What about the crazy space radiation? The dome structure prevents cosmic rays from entering. Okay. Hostiles ahead! So will these help me get across the cavern? Or what? It 
It's kind of important to know. Every, trying to tr every time I try to walk around, the game says no. there was a new thing to scan but I'm not seeing it I am not seeing it Titanium sample. Now, what's in here? <coughs> hey, asshole. Don't think flying off to the ass end of nowhere will save you. You still owe me 80k, and you're going to make good. If I have to cart myself over to that broken dump and shake the credits out of you myself, I will. You better be making a haul over there, because when you come back, you've got me to answer to. Hey, you left without saying goodbye. You're coming back, right? Did I do something? One second you're telling me I'm the guy for you. We should settle down. Try and make the best of Kadara. The next... Okay, forget it. You take all the time you need over there. Make your big score like you wanted, then you can come back. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here waiting. Do not respond. Automated report. Thank you for your purchase. A sorry mel melding. Part 5. Huh. If you have an issue... Okay. And Asari was here then? That's a loadout machine. Message for Albus. Got plenty of helium-3 soil at the site, but I think we'll deplete it pretty quickly. Once we finish here, head back to the base. Krex will add it to the stash. In case you didn't get the new passcode, it's 63... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. They're mining helium-3? The main component in shuttle fuel pathfinder. It can also be used to make highly effective explosives. Just what we need. Exiles with explosives. Let's get into the base. Okay. The attached passcode is only a fragment. Data here indicates other mining domes. Okay, so I guess I wasn't I added the locations to your supposed map. to be trying to cross the cavern just yet. I was supposed to be finding these bases. My bad. So you're gonna give me more of that? Yeah, that's what I thought. There we go. Minerals have been depleted in this location. Uh, I would sure hope so. Okay, so that's what the Nomad airlock is. And that's what I have to do. Oh, it's a good thing I got that outpost. Or not outpost. I got that, uh, thing. Whatever it's called. Alright, there's the other one. Do -do 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 -do. How you guys doing? Do you mind if I come take a peek?
that guy is really holding on by a thread, isn't he? Not anymore. I can't get to him. Alright. Got just a couple more. There we go. Problem solved. No, nope, not. Never mind. Still one more. Now, problem solved. Why are we talking like we were done? of annoyed. <coughs> What's this? Uranium. Anything else new to scan? Giving me more minerals, though. Even though I'm really not having any troubles with my minerals. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else big and shiny? Not really. This place is huge, though. From Kadara. Hey, Kellogg. The gang here has a bet going, and we need you to settle it. This Krex guy we keep hearing about. Ask him if he's a real scientist and see how he reacts. Like, he's Krogan, right? Don't they have brains the size of walnuts or something? Have you actually seen him work? Can he count above ten? Ha! <laughs> okay, but seriously. Have to tell me what he's like. I hear he's a nightmare to work with. Come back soon so we can hear all the stories. Wow, so nice. Holy shit. We gotta try out those hydras today. I can't believe you left before they arrived. Shit, Caleb, if you could see them in action, these babies in our lineup will stop the collective for sure. Hey, I wonder if you could get a few for H047C. I bet they kick some serious acid in low G. Maybe you could give Crexon a big punch right in the quad. If you do, take a picture for me. Just go for it. We'll all see the way we all see the way you stare at Kessia. From the way you two talk, it sounds like you two knew each other on Kadara. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess you came here for her. Just ask her out. You are one of the best, best smugglers on Kadara, and now you're sitting pretty on a big score from this venture. If that's not most eligible bachelorette material, I don't know what it is. What is? Besides for a Turian, you're not half bad looking. She likes you. Trust me. Do us all a favor and close the deal with Kessia. We're sick of you mooning over her. Okay. So nice. Message for Krex. Look, asshole. You can harass me all you want, but it won't make me make my guys work any faster. You'll get your helium-3 soil when we're good and finished. 
You want to ship this back to the base yourself? Fine. But leave my team alone. Passcode is data corrupted. Two. This Crex must be in charge of mining helium three. He's the one we need to stop. Yeah. The passcode is still incomplete, Pathfinder. I, I require know. one more fragment. I know, I know. I got that. What is this wanting me to scan? Something. There we go. A shield generator. Okay. Alright, I think I got everything from here. There was no new minerals or whatever. What is that? What is that? Is that just a loadout station? Is that what that is? Maybe. Was there? I think there was one up there, wasn't there? Yes, there was a loadout station. Okay. That's not useless. Useful to me. So let's move on. <coughs> hmm. Man, I don't even know if I'll get through all of these loyalty missions today. This one seems like it's going to take a minute. Hopefully. I'll try. <laughs> 